so we're gonna talk about the Brahmin bag. If you've never heard about the Brahmin bag, you're about to learn today. Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel, you guys. Welcome back to the Wrap and Scraps channel. As you can see, I am in my dining room. I got the doors open because it's hot in California right now. So I really wanted to just jump on into bag. I am here to share with you guys, as you can see in the thumbnail, the Brahmin bag, okay? This is the Wonderland Brahmin bag. Let me make sure I got it right. The Small Caroline Wonder uh, Swanston. Swanston bag okay so it's very reflective so even with my ring light it's, it's gonna shine you guys so sorry if it makes it harder to see I'll try to go in there and so you can see all of the edges and angles but it is a very reflective iridescent kind of bag anyway and that is what I love it so much oh you guys I'm so in love so let me tell you about this bag and how I came to know about Brahmin. Um, just looking on YouTubers channels, you know, I'm a YouTuber, so I also watch YouTubers. And I was looking on a lot of different channels and I kept noticing that in the background, you know, in their closet, there was just several, it wasn't a lot of women who had them from what I saw, but several of the women had these really, really colorful bags. And I kept trying to see, what is that? So what I did is I zoomed in on my phone and I took a snap, you know, like a screenshot of the, the bag. And then I went to Google and threw it in there and then Google popped up the Brahmin bags, okay? Now, I didn't see this exact one. I saw one that had some like, um, it actually looked like an ocean. It was like uh, the turquoises and the blues and all the, you know, all those colors like a, like a wave. It looked like almost like a wave to me. And I thought it was very beautiful because you guys know I love the beach. And so I decided to look into it. I had to see where did these bags come from because I am a bag person. I have never, ever in all my life seen this bag okay and i've been in a lot of stores i do a lot of window shopping but i've never seen this bag come to find out it was a brahmin bag and so of course once i found out the name brand i went and looked a little bit deeper to see what else they had to offer and oh boy when i came across this beauty here when i came across the small caroline wonderland swanson bag um i felt like Smeeko off the Lord of the Ring. I was like, oh my God, my precious, I have got to have it. It just so happened. It's very reflective as you guys can see. I, it's, it's just naturally reflective and that's just with my ring light. But if the sun was out, you would see that it is super, super reflective, okay? It is a hard case purse, all right? It has a slot in the back here, big enough to fit a whole phone. I would put it in there, but I'm using it to film. And I love the way it opens. I love the different textures. As you can see, it has a lot of different textures going on here. I love that, okay? Handles very sturdy, genuine leather, all right? Now with Brahmin, you are gonna get very good quality um, like you would from Coach or uh, Louis Vuitton or any of those other luxury places, okay? But you're not gonna pay that same price. Here's the inside of it. It comes with a key ring down here, as you can see, which is very handy, okay? It has a key ring, as well as, <laughs> yeah. I'll show you guys, okay? It also has a zippy on this side of the bag right here. There's the zippy right there, and then if you flip, flip it over. Also has a zippy on this side, along with a nice, amount of little pocket space here for a notepad and then a pen okay so that's the inside of the bag now as you can see when i hold it when i stand it up like this it can be open and that's what i love i love that this bag can stand on its own i'm i, I really like um i used to love the like the sack hobo bag you know what i mean uh but i've really over the years steer more toward the hard case bags and the reason why is because to me it's a lot more easier to get your items in and out of the bag okay so it has beautiful gold hardware as you can see here beautiful gold hardware it says brahmin here on the hardware um gold hardware it also has a crossbody which i will put a picture of because it's upstairs um love the zipper good sturdy zipper here uh, there's only one zipper on this purse I know some other ones might have two, not sure, 
but that's the first zip up, okay? Cute little tassel here, love that. And like I said, it has a back pocket there. Now the price of this purse was $365. Um, I got this for my birthday, I just turned 40, and so uh, Honey bought it for me for my birthday. For me, this was really a treat, okay? This won't be my last bag, but I'm very glad that it is now my first. And so that is the beautiful bag. Okay, I love the detail. I love the different textures. I love how um, it's just there's a lot going on. Let's look at the bottom. As you can see, gold hardware here on the feet as well. The stitching on this, you guys, just like with my coach bag, the stitching is just so good. I'm real big on that type of stuff. If I'm gonna pay a pretty penny, I want it to look like what I'm paying for, okay? So that is the bag. Like I stated, it does have a pouch back here. Okay, but how car, how car salesmen say, but wait, there's more. All right, there's more. All right, Honey was nice enough to also give me the wallet. Let's see if I can get this in frame without, aha. So here is the wallet, as you can see, same iridescent type thing going on here. All right, this is the like wallet of all wallets. You see how big it is, first of all. Okay. Yes, it does match the purse. It is a set. All right. Let's open the wallet. Look how beautiful. Look at how freaking beautiful that is. Do you see that? Do you see the wallet? Okay. It has a checkbook here. I mean, some people still write checks. There's a checkbook slot along with one, two, three four, five, six slots, and then the checkbook, of course, slides down into there. We've got our Brahmin pen here. It's very useful. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five or six different, two, three, four, five, six, seven different slots for cards, as well as two more slots, one here and one here for cash, okay? It also comes with this little, uh, I guess, proof of purchase Brahmin stuff. Registration cards are in there, okay? And um, it's just, again, beautifully made, beautifully, beautifully made, and that's there for your ID. On the back of it, there is a zippy here where you can, again, put more stuff, <laughs> okay? so. This is a full size wallet, and this wallet is called the Modern Checkbook Wallet Wonderland Swanson. And then it says it's genuine leather. Now, this wallet was $235. We did pay full price. Um, I was hoping we could find it on a, a sale, but that did not happen. So he just, you know, man, how men are. They'll, you know, my husband will look for a good deal because he's that type of guy. He's big on saving his coins as well. So he'll look and see if he can save it. And then if he can't, after a while, he's just like, well, hell, I'm just gonna pay the full price. So he ordered mine from Dillard's. Um, so that is the wallet, as beautiful as it is. Now on the outside, it has two snaps. Uh, last before my camera died on me, um, the two snaps. I love that because you can put it on the first snap or if you need, you know, a little bit more room because you have so much money in here from all your coins and cards then you can place that on the second snap and as you can see it does not show the first snap even though it's right under there okay so that is the wallet and again the wallet uh 235 235 dollars from dillard's again it is the wonderland okay this is what's in season right now i think for this season i think this just arrived not long ago so if you want it you better snatch it up before it's gone because they do bag seasonally from what I understand. Now this pouch is not from Brahmin. This is just one that I made to go with this set. Um, it has a little bit of texture on here. I got the fabric from um, Joann's. And then I just added a little bit of stuff just to, you know, um, kind of match it to the purse, all right? 
just a little bit, just a little something, something, nothing, nothing major, just something. I don't like my stuff being loose in my purse, okay? So I like for everything that goes in my purse to be contained. And that way you protect your investment. Now with this little purse, this little pouch I made, um, I made sure I put a liner, I, sew, I did sew that in so that I can wipe it out. This is the inside of it. Like I said, I just sewed the um, plastic lining in there, the vinyl, it's a thin vinyl. So that way if I spill something in there, I can wipe it out, but also as a second um, kind of protection in case something that I have, maybe a perfume, an oil or a lipstick melts, that it doesn't go through the bag and into the interior of my purse, okay? So that's just, and, um, you know, so that's that. I did go with a gold uh, zip for it. So let me show you how I place all this in there. Um, I like to be able to reach in my purse easily and get things out. I don't wanna have to fight it. So I decided with this, because this purse have these two little nods right here. I mean, you can pop them out. One pops out and stays out. The other one on my purse does not. It might be different on yours. But I don't wanna have to worry about any of that. So what I like to do is place my wallet standing up. That way it's easy to get to. If I'm sitting here like this, I can easily get to it. There's no issue there. And then I did measure <laughs> before I made this, this to make sure that it fits in the way I want it to fit. Okay, so there is a, a method to my madness and this is why, as you can see, so as you can see in the purse, there is a little bit of room here. There is my um, pouch. This one I do have to bring sideways to take out, but that's okay. So that sits there at the bottom. And then I like my wallet standing up. And then I like to have this room here for my glasses, my keys, or any other um, items that I might need to bring. I don't like to overstuff my purse. If I close the purse, as you can see, if I was to zip it, it closes with no problem. I only need that one zippy pouch. I don't need another zippy pouch for this purse. I was going to, I was gonna make two zippy pouches for the purse, but um, it seems like this one is just good enough. It holds everything that I would need. I don't really carry a lot of makeup with me. I usually just carry my lip gloss and maybe a um, eyeliner. Aside from that, I really don't. Now here's the reason I don't have them both standing up because then it makes it a little harder to close the purse. So I wanted one of them to be lying down and I figured my uh, makeup pouch or miscellaneous pouch is better to be laying down than the, the wallet because I'm gonna be reaching for my wallet more so than the pouch, okay? And like I stated, I wanna make sure I have enough room here to connect my keys, all right? And whatever else I might need, my glasses case or whatever. So that is the Brahmin bag, you guys. I'm All right, so that's it, you guys. That is the purse. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's just a quick little video, but I just really wanted to share this with you guys. Check out that, and remember to stay wrapped in scraps. Remember to stay loving you, stay loving life, stay loving God, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.